So the other night, I'm about to lay down, relax. And a little birdie came and tweeted in my ear. And was like, hey, somebody's talking about you. I went to check it out to see what it was. And Sicky H made a post. Well, that post isn't up anymore. He took it down. And then he made a video talking about some shit about the, the knowing yourself. And he just posted it 16, 17 hours ago. Some shit like that. Go to his page and look it up. In the beginning of that video, he's talking about me, guys. <sighs> he's not willing to say it, so I gotta just do it for the little guy. He never, ever wants to mention my name. The guy he's talking about at the beginning of that video is me. When he said he made a post and then he apologized and he's going to take it down because it has nothing to do with the upliftment of you guys. That's what he said to his followers. No, Sicky H, that's not what happened. See, all the other videos that I had posted about him, I removed them from my page because what I had said, it was done. It wasn't for the audience. It wasn't for followers. Why y'all all accusing me of it? Where are all those old videos that I posted about him then? Why didn't they still on my page? Okay, then. See, because once it was done, it was done. He wasn't saying anything. He kept running and being a coward. So it was over with. My point was made. But here he came calling for me, guys. So don't think that I'm just coming for sicky, guys. He came for me. And he admitted it on that video. He just said, there's some guy, I posted it. And, well, what he did was he took my video, screenshotted it, and posted it and said that I said he was my puppet, which is a lie. And then on your little video, like I said, he just posted 16, 17 hours ago. Go check it out. He said that he posted a video talking about I'm his puppet. Nope. You guys, scroll down my page right now, my channel. The video's up there. Proof. The proof is there, and there's a child reading off of a notebook with a mask on his face, with a big-ass hoodie that looked way too big for him, on. And if you put two and two together, you'll be like, Sicky, is you recording that child, man, in your basement? Is that you recording that child, Sicky H? But back to my point. He came for me, guys. He posted it and he's talking about, so I said he was my puppet. That's a lie. See how he just lies and lies and lies and lies and lies. He can't do anything but lie because he's a child of his father who was a liar from the beginning and a murderer. He's been exposed as a murderer, guys, and a thief. He's been exposed as a thief. He steals everybody else's information and puts it out like it's his. So a liar, a murderer, and a thief. He is the son of his father, <laughs> who was a liar, thief, and a murderer from the beginning. And where did I get that from? The same book he say ain't real. You see why he says it ain't real? You see why he don't want you to read it? You see why he don't want you edified by it? Because he is the one person that the understanding of the book was stripped away. He's not lying when he says he's a demon. He's a fallen angel. That's true. He's a specific fallen angel that the understanding of the book was ripped away from. He can never understand it. And he knows that, so he bashes it. And if you do some research, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about by saying that. You just got to do your research, kids. That's all. Then you'll understand what's happening with me and him. You'll understand the spiritual warfare that's taking place. And why he don't want to say my name. Why he don't want to mention me. Why he runs from me. Because there's literally nothing he can do with me. I was sent by my father to destroy that nigga. And he knows it. He know it. I'm consistently saying his name. He will not make mention of mine. In that video, he did not. Go and check and see, guys. See if I'm lying. You fucking coward baby kids that follow him. Check me and see. See, when you live on truth, you don't have to make up lies. You don't have to take shit down that you just put up hours ago. Because, oh, I, I apologize, guys. Why are you apologizing to them? Because what? It's true. See, you just didn't think I still had that video of that child on deck on your ass. That's what happened. Once I removed it after you would never respond to it and I removed it, then you thought, whoa, the coast is clear. Shit. I did my little ritual or some shit you thought you did. 
And, I, and he's down now, and I'm in the clear. So some time had went by, and you said, oh, I can finally, I can finally attack him. And then that video won't be there, and then no one will know what he's talking about. Then I'll just make stuff up and lie. But drop that fucking video in your fucking ass. You little kid. You don't know war, nigga. You ain't ready for this type of warfare. So you might as well stop talking and sit down. Because eventually, the men and the women, not the little boys and girls that are just going to follow you aimlessly. I'm talking about the men and the women. They're going to say, hey, you know what? This guy is coming at you. You went on some other nigga, Big Wiggle. You're mentioning their names. You're mentioning about the other guy that went off on you. You mentioned their names, but you won't mention this one guy's name. Why is that? Sima, the last son of Anu. Why? Why does he just bother you so much? Why did you, why did you take the post down that you posted about him randomly? It's just all of the blue, out of the blue, he did this, guys. I'm telling you, I was lay, literally in the bed, rolled the blankets back, ah, stretched. Ah, I was about to lay down and relax. I just got done eating and shit. Oh, yes, feeling good. Just had good conversation with a good friend. Laying down to go to bed and then, what the hell is this? Looked at it. Oh, my goodness. No, he didn't. Sing! Time to cut his ass. And that's just what it is, guys. What did you expect me to do? Just sit there and just go, oh, well, I'll just let that slide. No, this is war. I came at you. You hid in the fucking coward in the corner. And then now that this, you thought the coast was clear, you came out and thought you was going to backstab me. And I wasn't going to notice the shit and drop the video of the proof that you're lying, saying that I said you're my puppet. You said that in your video. You lied. I never said that. Um... What's his name? Reaction Rage said that he, you're his puppet. And he also says he owned your stupid ass. So do you want to answer to that? Do you want to explain who that child is? Where is that child's parents? Where did, where did this child come from? Why are the clothes on that child oversized? Why is he wearing a mask over his head and face? In someone's basement, reading off of a piece of paper that obviously an adult had given him. Speaking about you, you won't even address any of those questions you haven't all year. So, what does that mean, guys? The same shit it meant last time. I was saying these same words. Y'all just have still sitting there rubbing your eyes with the crust in your eyes saying, That's bullshit. Like I said, I looked in the comments on the video that he posted about some, that guy, it's always some random ass thing when he's talking about me, that one guy, I don't even know who he is really, but that guy, I took that video down about that, I took that post down about that guy, yeah, because your asses poked a fucking lion, <coughs> you thought you were in the clear, you thought peace and safety, then sudden destruction came upon your stupid ass, you see that, you thought you were safe. The joke was on you, nigga. So, like I said, I ain't here to impress nobody. I'm not here for followers. I'm not here to try to get uh, subscribers and get a million subscribers and get YouTube trophies. All I don't give a fuck about that shit. You niggas are crazy as hell if you think I give a fuck about any of this shit in this wicked ass world. My duty is to come and overcome the world, nigga. Y'all niggas are still trying to fit in with it. You're trying to get somewhere in it and have something in it. I don't know nothing about this, man. Y'all know nothing about this walking in spiritual war. So if y'all had read and y'all had understood what was going on, then when this happened on the earth, y'all wouldn't even be confused. You would say, oh, yeah, it said that would happen because it happened before. <laughs> it happened before. All you have to do is read. There was an archangel. The Most High said to this archangel, I need you to go and I need you to go get Semyaza and Azazel. And I need you to take those two wicked fallen angels and take a chain and chain them in chains of everlasting darkness and hold them there and reserve them for the time of judgment. And then when the time of judgment comes close, they will be released for a time. And that same archangel would come to bind them forevermore and throw them into the abyss. You see? So let, let, let's summarize this. An archangel was sent by the Most High to take two fallen angels and put them in chains to reserve them for judgment because they're spewing out lies to the people, to the humans. They're spewing, they're spewing out lies to man. Let's make that clear. They're spitting lies to man to trick him. So this archangel came and put them in bondage so they couldn't do that anymore. 
And then, like I said, there'll be a little short little season for them to come out at the end and speak some more of that bullshit to deceive those ones who are going to be judged too. So a lot of you who follow him are just his children who are going to follow him right into the pit. That's to be expected. I'm not coming for your stupid asses. So throw all the shit you want to throw. It ain't going to stick. That shit don't work anymore, man. We got on the armor, the Ephesians, something you don't know nothing about. Okay? So that shit doesn't work when you do that. We're not here for you. We're only here to gather the elect. The angels are sent to gather God's elect. That's all. You hear that? They're not here for the, for the scum. For the low lives, for the rejects. They're not here for them. Those are called tares. That's a reject. When you're getting wheat and you get tares that grow with the wheat, do you take the tares into the barn and make bread out of the shit? No, you take wheat. The tares you put into the chaff. You put that shit to the side to be burned, nigga. That's you niggas that want to follow after the lie, that want to be deceived. <clears throat> That's still harboring bitterness in your heart. You ain't let love come in and raise you. Above it, you're still blaming everybody else. You so called Negroes on the earth, you so called black people, you're still blaming everybody else for your ass whooping your daddy gave you instead of correcting your shit and coming back home and bowing down to your father and saying, I was wrong for not doing your commands, for not doing your will. But all of you think you got all the power, so go ahead, we shall see. Because you see, your little leader that you follow, he don't step to me, he doesn't address me, he doesn't even say my name. He said that he can see through the ethers and see who everybody is. Well, I got a question for you, Sicky H. Who am I? Why don't you make a video and, and say when you look through your little hourglass or whatever the fuck it is, your little spyglass, when you looked at me, what did you see, nigga? Tell the people that. 